What's going on, everybody? My name is Frank, and I'll be your host. And uh, I think we're going to tinker. I'm thinkering. We're going to tinkering. What number in line? Uh, it's not about number in line. It's actually more about, like, hey, are you here, and do you want me to do it without you here? Because sometimes... Sometimes I just... I'm going to be honest with you. Sometimes I just don't feel like doing a step. I'll just, I just feel like drafting normally, because it's like... It's just, it's more, it's less pressure, it's more relaxed, right? Um, so, I gotta know, Hammerfire, you're Aaron, right? I'm gonna take a tinker. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I mean, like, I have one, two, I have about four steps that I have to do this go around so I'll definitely get to it um that's not the issue okay cool I think we're just taking mind twist thank you with no good artifacts other than like porcelain legionnaire you know I don't practice sangria I ain't got no crystal ball. I'm gonna take this mind twist mind twist is pretty you're gonna take Tezzeret over Mind Twist? Jeez, what's wrong with you? I spent it all. And make like a bird. What does that mean? What are you talking about? Are you a bird now? I like a volcanic island. I like a volcanic island a lot. I also like a mana leak and a chart of course. But if we're gonna if we're gonna take I think it's I think this is just are you a bird now? Tell me more about your bird-like state. I'm gonna take this volcanic island. Pfft, scalding tarn? God, nothing goes with a, nothing goes with a volcanic island like scalding tarn. That's for sure. I'm like a bird. I only fly away. I don't know where my home is. I don't know where my soul is. I'm like a bird. I only fly away. Did you guys know that I was like a bird? That I only fly away. I knew. Drop in shit and get out. Did you just take a shit? On my stream? Unbelievable. That's just rude. Now you're just being rude. I like a Jace Friends prodigy here. Oh, yeah, no, this pack is pretty unexciting, but Jace makes me feel good. Helps us get to these things. I don't know where my home is. I don't know where my soul is. Booty doot and doot and doot. I'm like a bird. I'm flying away. Oh, a flooded strand, huh? Oh, and a brazen borrower. I do like a flooded strand here. I do like it. I think Brazen Bar is actually very, very good. Having just a bounce ball that becomes a threat is really cool. I'm going to take the Brazen Bar. I think I'll 100% play a Brazen Bar or so. I also like a Vendillion Click. And then we can just play Mono 3 1 Flyers for 1 BB. Right, BB? Oh, Glenelandra Archmage. Alright, we're doing it. The dream is so alive, guys. The dream, it is so alive. I don't know where my soul is. Mm -hmm, like a bird, I only fly away. I don't know where my home is. I don't know where my soul is. Man, Undrum Tuna, why'd you get this song stuck in my head? Why did you get this song? This is actually a decent moat deck so far. We got triple floaty boys. Oh, 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 floaty ladies. I apologize. <coughs> I'm like 
like a mock me. None of these cards are exciting or good. I guess Rabble Master is fine if we're blue red. Koth no, Garrick no. Is the new Garrick good? You know, he's alright. He's alright. I don't I don't care about Marsh Flats with, with base blue, black, and red. I'm just gonna take Thunder Maw Hellkite, cause maybe we're blue red again. I don't know where my home is. Thank you. <coughs> Unreasonable tuna fish. <laughs> Long time you to watch your sub on Twitch to support you in the awesome content. Like, Hello, future self. What's it like in the future? Wow. Is there really an untrumped tuna and an unreasonable tuna fish in the same chat? What is even happening? How is that real? Charter course came back. That's pretty good. What? How is that possible? And you've been a sub for nine months? How are there so many untunas? Wow, that's amazing. I'm like, wow, this is incredible. It's all happening. How do you avoid stumbling over your words and streaming recording? Trying to record some stuff and gave up today because I kept stumbling over words. Um, <clears throat> that's a good question. Practice is literally the only answer. There's no, there's no like secret. Like, well, if you tap your foot three times and spin around in a circle before you start, uh, you won't stumble over your words. There's no trick to it. It's literally just practice, and that's what people don't understand. Is like it's really hard. I was watching a, a Reed Duke video, and God, I swear I love Reed Duke to death. Um, but there were parts that it was difficult because like he just he goes quiet for like a whole like a minute, two minutes, three minutes, like just stretches of time where he's just making plays. And forwarding the game, but nothing's being said. And I was just like, Reed, you gotta say something, please. Reed, please say something. <coughs> and it was just so funny to watch, like, because, like, just because you're great at magic, just because you're a premier magic player, um, has no bearing on whether you'd be good at streaming or good at entertaining or, or you know, you know, what have you. Not to say Reed's bad. <coughs> Not to say that at all. But it is a, it is a, I think it is a skill set just like playing Magic. So, I mean, like, you're either good at it or you're kind of just, kind of just mad at it, maybe. You know, I don't know. Are you vegetarian? If so, is that challenging? Why would it be challenging? Why would it be challenging in Florida? That part I don't understand. I'm kind of a pseudo-vegetarian. I don't eat uh, red meat or pork or fish. I just eat some chicken and some turkey every so often. Um, this could be good. We have zero targets for it right now. So, I'm going to take Misty Rainforest instead. And maybe that wandering fumarole tables. <clears throat> well, howdy, partner. Didn't see you there. Isn't that... That sounds like... What's his name from... From what's his name? That sounds like what's his name from Fallout uh, New Vegas. I do like Lightning Bolt here. Lightning Bolt's just great, right? I mean, it's just Lightning Bolt. It's not exciting, but it's so good. No, no nugs yet. Kerwitz said yesterday that they weren't even they weren't even they haven't even been sent yet. So <coughs> I opened this treat that was in a money wrapper that looked like a crepe with a cream packet inside. A cream packet inside, and it said it smelled like fish and couldn't. Okay, yeah, I would probably I would probably steer clear too, to be honest with you. I'm like a bird on the highway. So you mean I have to work at being on the U.S. of tubes? That is correct. That is correct. Yes. You have to put your put your back into it. Put your back into it. You know, like the isn't that that's a song, right? I don't know. We have four cards that are options here. We also have a misty. Maybe a green cards in our future. I don't think so. I kinda just like incinerate. I do like Narset. I think it's gotta be Narset. Narset's so strong. Oh, we have Inkwell Leviathan and we do have Tinker. Plus, there's nothing in this pack that's calling me at all. I'm going to take the inkwell. 
Oh, Sower of Temptation. Ugh, Temptation. I'm going to take the Sower. If we had an Ancestral or a Time Walk, I would definitely lean towards Goblin Dark Dwellers. But all we have now is Charter Course and Tinker, <laughs> which not very... Oh, the wrong one. The wrong Ancestral. Is it a Braid or is it Vision? <clears throat> Yeah, moves are so stressful, dude. Violated Grill, thanks so much for the resub as well. I thought I mentioned it, but I don't think I... I think I forgot. I think I was reading it and then I was responding. Oh, man, the I don't know... I don't know where my home is. Oh, God, it's true. <clears throat> I like a braid because it deals with artifacts, which is a very, very nice uh, sub ability to have on a card. I want to take the braid. I don't think I need card advantage here. We have Charter Course, Jace, Narset... Light up the stage. <laughs> Mishra's Factory is a good tinker target. Comically. <clears throat> oh my god, Undrum Tuna, you're my favorite. You're a a dang treasure. I don't see if I don't see us lighting up the stage very frequently. I'm gonna take the Mishra's Factory just in case. Oh, Celestial Colonnade. And a batter skull. Because I don't think it's Megas of the Moon or High Tide or Burning. It could just be Batter Skull. I don't are we just gonna hard cast a batter skull and just have a an awkward batter skull? Maybe. Could be fine. Could also be Colonnade. Colonnade's just one of like a premier land. I wanna take the Colonnade. Flame Slash? We've passed Brain Freeze and Mind's Desire so far. It was unfortunate. And high tide. Imperial Power Two or less, huh? So you can get Rattle Master, Season of Hermits, the Dire Fleet, Jace, Sower, Glenn. I'll just take you because if we get like, oh, well now we did not pass. Might just be Terramander. We don't have that many spells, surprisingly. All our spells are like, that's it. You know, it looks like we'd be a spells deck, but we're not really. I'll take you anyway. <coughs> I'm like a bear. Please, no batter. Wow, that's that's harsh. Like funny moment <clears throat> when parents helped me move stuff and was like, "Don't go in that bag. It's got Christmas presents in it." <laughs> I had to move just before Christmas two years back and hate it. Yeah, dude. I have to move just after Christmas, so that's cool. Mmm, that's pretty cool. Okay. I mean, Siege Chain Commander's not bad. We can get it with uh, Imperial Recruiter. I'll take a Siege Chain. Maybe you're not terrible. It's a, any red spell? Sure. What the hell? Golden Globes are starting, but these aren't the Golden Globes I'm looking for. What does that mean? I'm hearing some noises out in the kitchen. I'm wondering what they are. Okay, nothing exciting here. So I'm going to go check and see what those noises are. I think it's Vista here. It could be Boros Signet. Alright, hold on a second. I gotta see what's going on. All right, well, we took Vista. Well, I don't think we're playing Tinker if we don't take... <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to play Tinker with just Boros Signet, so... That's Little Man coughing. Little Man's in there just coughing away. I hope he's okay.
Maybe we take the Oko and hope the Ren and Six wheels. That'd be pretty sweet. Especially because we have Scalding Tarn and Misty Rainforest. Dak? God, he's still coughing. Like, I'm, I'm really kind of worried about him now. I'm trying to listen for him. I like a ponder. This pack's pretty meh. <clears throat> Man, Dak and Ponder were good pickups. I'm just take Colgon's command. Just in case. We also have Mind Twist in the sideboard. That's kind of sad. Oh, I like a Mox Diamond. Oh, Cryptic Command and Counterspell. I want a Cryptic Command. We're Cryptic Commanding. God, Mox Diamond does help us cast. Tinker can go. <clears throat> Shut up and take my money. Mm, that's interesting. What? Untrapped Tuna, what? Don't ask me to pick up the Untrapped Tuna, I would have never asked you to pick up the couch because that's just ridiculous. Oh my god, thank you, buddy. Are you crazy? What? Oh my god. What? You're ridiculous. Undrum Tune, thank you so much. What? That's insane. Oh my god, you're wonderful. <clears throat> Yeah, if we like me, me and Mike, we figured out like if we're paying first month, last month, and security deposit, we're gonna have to pay like thirty, between thirty five and like forty two hundred up front, up front, depending on where we stay. Which is always good times. Oh, breeding pool. Oh, that's real nice with Misty and Scalding. Oh man, Ren and Six, come on back. <clears throat> Caitlin, thank you so much. Oh my God, you are wonderful. You are an absolute, an absolute treasure. More like undreamt treasure. <clears throat> Good lord. You're a saint. Unbelievable. Is my other house coming too? No, they can't bring the house with me. <clears throat> no, it's just me and Mike, because uh, our room, other room at Felipe. Uh, decided he's gonna live with his his dad, I think, until he his until one of his friends is free, and then he's gonna move in with his other friend. So it kind of put us in an awkward position where we're like, now we have to look instead of looking for a bigger place with three beds, three bedrooms. Like now we have to look for a two bedroom place, and so it's like, you know, uh, like a three bedroom place for, it would be like sixteen hundred dollars, which is cool, but then a two bedroom place is gonna be like thirteen hundred dollars. So it's not like the price difference is not proportional, right? So me and Mike are gonna end up paying like two hundred dollars more each. <clears throat> this pack is not great. I'll just take like an Electromancer or whatever. Ooh, Chain Lightning coming back? That's pretty nice. I also kind of like Hellrider. Oh, Preordain too. Jeez. We already have Burst, a Braid, and Bolt. I think we kind of just want the Preordain. I don't think we're a Hellrider deck. Oh, I like P and Kieran Alar here. Looks like the Ren and Six did not come back. Oh well, we still get to splash an Oko off of a Prismatic Vista, Mox Diamond, a Breeding Pool, a Mysterian Forest, etc., etc. How much for a studio with a trash can? You know, I don't know. We didn't look. We didn't look. <coughs> okay, we can take out the Leviathan and play Mox Diamond. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like this a lot. Embreath Shieldbreaker is nice, but we do have a Braid. Is there anything else we don't want here? Not really. Everything else looks pretty sweet. Oh, mean mugger. Hello. Hello, hello. <coughs> I'm like a bird. I only fly away. Arcanist seems good here. Eh, it's probably not bad, actually. It might be better than Steamkin. I could see that. 
Is it one or oh, so it's equal to power? So like we get four free hits. <laughs> looking to rent a place? Yeah, we're looking to rent a place. One, two, three, four, five. Our mana base is actually really sweet. One forest is fine because we can get it with Vista. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, blue, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think I like it the other way. Ten, ten. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, ten, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Ten, ten, six. I would have donated more as you kept driving. Wow. <clears throat> have you played any games yet? No. This is our first draft. This is our first draft, and we just finished the actual draft. I don't know where my home is. Um, I almost think Embereth... Now, I, actually, I've always been impressed with Dire Fleet Daredevil, either when it's played against me or when I've played it myself. I can put Brazen Bar here, because we're almost always going to... Always gonna do the the two mana jobby. I don't I think this I think this is fine. Little man has also stopped coughing, which is which is nice. I settled on Sushi for now, that makes total sense, and I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. <laughs> That's your go-to. Like me, I think my go-to for, for food is like pizza. I have to, like, remind myself that I just ate pizza yesterday in order to deter myself from getting pizza. I'm always like, oh, wait, I just had pizza. I forgot. And had I not remembered, then I probably would have just gotten pizza. Frank didn't keep the iPhone. That's, like, the third saddest thing I've heard today. No, I went back to... Guys, I have a Galaxy... I have a Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G now. You can't even see it, though. So. It's a gorgeous phone. Oh god, I dropped my water bottle, but it's okay because it's a big ass water bottle and doesn't really doesn't really spill too easily. So it's okay, we did it. I'm gonna keep this hand. I think. I think Oko in hand and all our colors is strong enough to keep. Plus you have double red, double blue. And a green, so. You like how I led on that that blue? I was like, if you if you draw a counter spell, I wanna play it. But we got lightning bolts in hand, so if they play like one drop. This is not a hydro flask, actually. This is a Yeti. What are you having? Are you referring to me? Because <clears throat> I have like 30 leftovers here. I have leftovers for days. The Sportsman Hydro Flask. Is that what it is? I don't even know. You guys are way more versed at water bottles than I am. You guys are water bottle professors. You guys should teach water bottle colleges at courses at college. Nailed it. <coughs> I do usually get the same toppings on pizza every time. Cheese. I'm such a cheese fan. Oh. Cool. Goodbye, Oko. Oh. Your boy survived. No? Alright. Wow, leftover brags. I have, like, leftover tacos. I have leftover Indian. And I have <clears throat> frozen pizza in the freezer. And I have, I have some Beyond Sausage Bratwursts. That are delicious. That I can make. And I have... Uh, some pasta and some sauce that I can make. <clears throat> I have lots of options is really my point that I'm getting at here. <clears throat> God, they're going to get Heroes Downfall. It's going to be incredible. Oh, Liliana. Oh, you're going to tick it up? I'm going to tick it up. Tick it up. The tick is on. I think we actually just want... Like, this can give us a double red if we need it. We don't need a second green, so this is basically just an island, whereas this is an island to Ori Mountain. And if we draw, like, P and Kieran Alar this turn, like... You know. 
Okay. Let's get her. Will you be death stranding tonight? Maybe. It's either tonight or tomorrow, depending on depending on how I'm feeling. Do I want to discard another card? I guess we could play this and just discard Prismatic Vista. I mean if they go they're going to five. If they go land removal spell, discard. They only have two. <laughs> Alright, we'll get rid of Vista. <clears throat> like, we have to figure, is Vista worse than any card in their hand that they might be discarding? I mean, the answer is probably. Definitely, definitely worse than a Thoughtseize. That does make things awkward. Well, not really. I guess if they're using all their mana to <coughs> tissing Quagmire here. Oh, we just get to kill Liliana. That's pretty cool. I feel like we're ahead. Mm-hmm. Oh, Biogenic Ooze. Well, we're going to Lightning Bolt that dude. Actually, do we just steal this one? No, it doesn't really do anything, right? Is it power? Power three or less. That's not bad. I'm just going to play this. So we're actually out of green sources. Our only two green sources were Breeding Pool and, and Far. Actually, we have um, we have a Mox Diamond. So our, to our entire deck has... Oh, fuck. <laughs> well. Oh, I guess we have Glenelinger Archmage. We don't have to let anything resolve. They can just put all the junk that they want in there. <clears throat> okay, I'm just gaining some gaining some life. I have nine damage on board. That's half your life total, my dude. <laughs> God. Oh god, Chris, Nifty Chris just sent me this. <laughs> I'm fucking dead, dude. Oh lord. Let's get our attack on. God, Oko is not a fair or balanced magic card. Do we even play this, Jace? Of course we do. If we flip it, we just get to recast a lightning bolt, and we still have... I kind of just want to get... Um... 
another island here just in case because like they can go like I don't know they could they could go reanimate we go to counter it eh, it doesn't matter I guess I don't know grave titan yeah I figured it was a grave daddy oh, we just turn grave daddy into a 3-3 don't we jeez it's so ridiculous <clears throat> Hey, Grave Daddy. Do -do 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 It's your Grave Daddy. And now we have some pretty good attacks with both of these. That's unbelievable. Yep. It's seven. Man, if only we had two more green sources, guys. We could be making oozes all day. Yeah, this game was single handedly won by Oko on turn three. Like, it's no question whatsoever. It's actually ridiculous. So you saw no real artifacts. Sort of light and shadow could be good. They're kind of base black. I think our deck's fine. Hasta la vista, vista. <laughs> Solid. Solid meme. Oh, wow. <clears throat> That's pretty good. I will keep this hand. That's a turn two Dak Faden. I hope they go turn two Signet and we go turn two Steal That Thing, Signet. Dak Faden. Are they going to entomb? Don't entomb. They didn't entomb. <clears throat> They're going to hypnotorock us, though. It's going to be brutal. I'm not going to enjoy it. <sighs> what an absolute jerk. That's probably the dumbest thing you could have done. That was painful. I don't appreciate it. Oh boy. George is getting upset. I'm going to get rid of Vendillion Click because we're not really close to casting it. Jesus, him to Torak is not a fair card either. You know, this card like a Leshnorn. <clears throat> Grave Daddy. Well, you have three lands. So discarding Grave Daddy probably only means one thing. Next turn, they're bringing Grave Daddy back. <clears throat> Grave Daddy, the return of Grave Daddy. That's a terrible movie title, just to be clear. Necromancy, my Grave Daddy. Okay, that was interesting. They make a sack with a lamp. That would be fascinating. No. 
Okay. Discard Buried Alive. Interesting. Well. Not terribly impressive. If that was a Dire Fleet Daredevil, we could him to Torok them. That would have been pretty cool. Or Collective Brutality then. Sack a creature. This guy doesn't actually do anything, so. Sure. Actually, I think we're in halfway decent shape here. <coughs> Oh, what up, Sammy? Like, we can just keep hitting Liliana. Oh, I guess we can't now? Things are happening. Makeshift mannequin. I mean, no, we're not... Obviously not doing that. Yep. <clears throat> That's a thing. Oh boy. Oh boy. Where's my Siege Gang Commander now? What else we got in that top end? Hellkite would be nice. Thunder Maw Hellkite one time. Brazen Borrower. Let's do it. Okay. We're just going to keep playing lands for obvious reasons because like they're just going to make us discard them. So This is exciting. This is exciting. Yep, I'm getting there. Up, oh, Jesus. Oh, that's unfortunate. I mean, they have six lands, so they can pretty much cast or play anything they draw. Hmm. Well. Well, that's not bad. <laughs> All right. I guess we get to kill one of these guys because of poor sequencing, but <clears throat> that's okay, I guess. How do we get rid of this guy and this Liliana? Not with an island. <clears throat> okay, that's enough lands. Thank you. Thank you, lands. Hmm. Nothing is really great against them, unfortunately. Sort of Light and Shadow. Eh. Lava Mancer seems actually better than a Braid here, I think. Yikes. Blue cards. <clears throat> Blue cards is correct. I can't find my glasses case. It's really tripping me out here. I have no idea where it would have went. Hmm. I will play first. Oh boy. Hey, we found the Hellkite. I want to mulligan the sand because, good lord, it's terrible. Do we get rid of Time Warp here? Probably. We can cast everything else. I will keep... I'm going to get rid of Time Warp here. Let's see what we want to discard on turn two or three or you know whenever really whenever hmm that's actually pretty good <clears throat> yeah I'm just gonna play maybe we get breeding pool with this actually though yeah I actually like breeding pool I was gonna get volcanic because then we have double red double white we can easily or double red double blue we can easily discard both of these Mm -hmm. 
Interesting. Also, if we draw Oko, like, it's nice to have the blue source. It's also pretty good. <clears throat> I feel like we're in a Vendelian click here. Nope, the other one. All right, let's see what happens. Did I say blue? I meant green. You're right. All right, let's see what you got here. <clears throat> Living death. Okay. Liliana of the Veil again. Him to Torok. Why didn't you play him to Torok in the last turn? Hmm. Well, that is frustrating. God, Living Death seems bad here. Not really, though. But maybe. Yeah, actually. Oh, God. This hand is actually quite frightening. So if we get rid of him to Torok, they play Liliana, they make a sacrifice to Vendillion Click, right? We can then kill it with Season Pyromancer, but they get to discard their Dragonlord of Tarka next turn and set themselves up for a pretty sweet Living Death, which will bring back Dragonlord of Tarka and also probably kill anything that we... Uh... <clears throat> that we get back. So Living Death actually is pretty bad for us. Oh boy. I mean, almost have to just take our licks with the Forest Swamp Sword Living. I almost have to just take our licks with the Living Death. Is it him? If they him to Torak us, they can just hit our two spells, and then it's like pretty bad. I'm going to take the Liliana because they don't have a way to discard Dragonlord of Tarka just yet. Okay. I think that's fine. Yep. Okay, not bad. Not bad. <clears throat> I mean, we just need another red for the Season Pyromancer, but... Hmm. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to play the land. So another hand is, uh, this was supposed to be a swamp, so they played a swamp. So they have Forest, Sword, meh. Living Death, Dragon Lord of Tarka. We know those four cards. They drew one this turn, they drew this, and last turn they drew a card from the uh, Vendillion Click. So, sure. <clears throat> Where is Mike? Mike is at work. Mike has a job. Okay. The question is, do we just play this guy as a 2-2? Two -two? Hmm. I think we can wait a turn. We can also just see what we hit. Maybe we get something better. You thought he worked with me? No, I don't... 
<laughs> I mean, I don't think so. Oh god, you're right. Oh god, you're right. I totally forgot about that. I thought we had to draw two then discard two. I totally forgot that it actually just gives you the two no matter what. Oh wow, I'm an idiot. Oh dear. Oh wow, those were decent hits. <clears throat> Okay, well, you have Living Death in hand, so that's pretty good. So we know you have Grave Titan. Oh boy. Woodfall Primus, Avenger of Zendikar, Ashen Rider. Jesus. Oh, God. <laughs> That's terrifying. That's terrifying. Okay, well. Is there any incentive to drawing now? Might as well. I mean, he gets to flip. It's fine. Um, we're actually going to put P in here. Three, four, five. Discard this because we want it to actually. <clears throat> Boy. Oh, God. Well, this is just terrible. Living Death next turn is just a beating. I don't know how we beat Avengers in a car, Ashen Rider, Woodfall Primus. Like, I'm pretty sure we don't. I'm pretty sure there's an actual no situation where that realistically happens. Mm, God. I think we've just lost. Which is sad, because our deck seems great, but... Oh, God. Yep, here we go. I guess this makes two flyers. <laughs> we can turn their Ashen Rider into a thing. That's actually not terrible, surprisingly. One, two, three, one, two, three. Yep, that guy's dead. Cool. <sighs> yeah, none of these cards matter anymore. Yep. Yep. Pizza Steve, thanks so much for saying so, man. Really appreciate it. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can deal lots of damage. Wow, if we had one more artifact, we'd be just perfect. Three, four, five, one, two. I guess we just play Rabble Master post combat. Hope we don't die next turn. This is terrible. I mean, if we throw the food at him on his turn, it doesn't really do anything. Like, 
think we still... Oh, maybe. Because then he goes to five. We attack with both of these. That's interesting. Are you gonna... Oh, I was like, are you going to counter this? Yeah, that's actually not bad. They go to four. We shoot him with the one he doesn't block. With the one he blocks, then we shoot him with the one he doesn't block. Wow, that's actually... Yeah, we missed that line. Yeah, that's good. That's a good line. Oh, he's got Trample. I see. Oh, good. They can just cast Dragon Lord of Tarka next turn. Eight. What is this? Ten. 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 28, 28 damage, huh? Gotta block a lot of it. Tim, have a good night, buddy. Always good to see you, my friend. Yep, that is something. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, twenty, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, eighteen damage. Hmm, boy. Get to shoot him for three. Can't gain life here, though. Blocking Primus doesn't do anything. He's got Trample. I just have to block a stupid plant? Like, that feels so bad. And they still get a 2-2, two -two, so it's like, it's all for nothing. <sighs> yeah, we had the win, I think. Cool. Yep. I mean, if that was a lightning bolt, ironically, we could, like, shoot this with this, attack for two, and then lightning bolt them. Direfully Daredevil. Oh, that would have been sick, too. Jeez, because then we can Living Death. And they get nothing. And we get a... Wow, can you imagine if we just drew this instead? Oh, that would have been insane. Oh, God. Um, you know what? I'll keep this hand. If we hit another land, it's a turn two deck or a turn two Ravel Master. Or we can just play turn one Jace and then guarantee it. Yeah, let's do that. Fatal push? Vampiric tutor. Okay. Oh, what up, Primaris Powerhouse? Someone's gonna be here to pick something up. They're um, they're buying a mouse from me, so I gotta 
I gotta be vigilant. Okay. Oh, shrieky deaky. You got it. Yeah, I can lead him out in the way. <clears throat> oh, I kind of like Pyromancer here. Flip Jace. Draw two. Should have waited. I don't think it matters. Yeah, I'll put Burst Lightning in the graveyard. More like Mike stands. Wow, that is a that is a deep cut. Wow, that's an old meme, dude. Wow, again with this bullshit? Really? Two reanimator decks in a row? Two decks playing buried alive in a row? Come on. Come on, my dude. Scarab God Massacre Room Shieldred. Well I'm getting boned. Oko and Charter Course. Jesus Christ, that's gonna be brutal. I want both of these. I choose to get wrecked by both of these. Aloha, brother. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Okay, four lands off of uh, two charter courses. <sighs> Seems good. Okay, I guess we got. Have I found a home yet? No. No, I have not. Enjoy my negative. Wait, you're getting sh you're getting shoulder it instead of. Oh, that's fascinating. Well, that seems. Huh. One, two, three. Well then. Okay, so what can we get with this? Like nothing, right? Just play Reading Pool. <laughs> ben, I, ha I appreciate the offer. I just have no idea. Uh, oh, good. Recurring fucking nightmare. Oh, crying out loud. This has been a fun draft. I think our deck is sweet. We just keep drawing an abundance of lands when we have things like Charter Course, Charter Course Preordain. And, uh, our opponents keep having it. I guess we have two Planeswalkers, so that's kind of cool. Another land. Sweet. Sweet. This guy. <clears throat> oh, give me one second, guys. I gotta go get the door. Alright. Well... Did we even play a land? I doubt we did. Oh, we played Scalding Tarn. So we can get rid of a land. <laughs> Joke's on you. <laughs> Got him. Yeah, Oko, Oko could take one. Can we still win this game if we just make all these elementals 3-3s? Three like, is that even... Is that a thing? Are we still in this game because of Oko? Because of literal Oko? Why would you attack Oko and then swift end Oko? 
Nope, I guess not, guys. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, God. Amazing. Hmm. I like all of these. I like all of these. Let's go Bolt, Narset, Sower. No shuffs. Play a land. One, two, three, four. Sower. Sour of Temptation. Okay, we're drawing a Narset, which is super nice. Oh yeah, I forgot you had that. That's a good one. Oh, Jesus. I, I totally forgot they had that. What, they're at six? Jeez. Wait, we have lightning bolt burst lightning? Don't we just kill them? Oh, wow. That's amazing. That's insane. Well, you got greedy, Martin. Jeez. Get him. God, I wish I had some graveyard nonsense. Jesus. Can I get some graveyard things? <laughs> oh, boy. I mean, I was literally thinking of Inkle Leviathan. We have Dak Faden to discard it. We have Season Pyromancer to discard it. But, like, they don't have Living End, right? Like, so... If they were playing Living End... Living Death? Living Death. I always, I literally get those cards confused every single time. Man, can I draw a Thundermaw Hellkite just one time? Uh, I'll keep this hand. It's a little bit slow, but maybe they don't have broken bonkers nonsense. Okay. Mox Diamond would be great. Then we can go Ravel Master, Vendillion Click. Not a Mox Diamond. Get red here. Um, are we charting a course? We don't really need to chart a course. We can Rabble Master next turn. They haven't done anything yet? What's even happening? I like Vendillion clicking here instead, actually. Let's see what you got here. 
You haven't cast Night's Whisper. Oh, they do have Living Death? What a bunch of shenanigans. I think we just get rid of Night's Whisper. Necromancy and Living Death don't do anything here. And, like, we can actually play deck and discard creatures. Wow, so... Island, Island, Swamp, Swamp... Necro Death. Necro Death. Also the name of my metal band, so... Yeah, we can just play DAC, discard like Rabble Master, Pyromancer, whatever. So they played a Swamp. So we know their whole hand. That's pretty cool. So Living Death, what's the wording? You sacrifice the creatures or you exile them? Uh, each player exiles creatures and they sack, they sack the creatures we control. So if we played Glenelg or Archmage, we could actually get it back. Which is important. So if they want a living death here, that's just fine. Because we'll still get a 1-1 one, one back. And they'll get nothing. I guess they could sack this and then living death. Take Necromancy? Why well, they have no way to get anything into the graveyard? Wow, library seems good. I mean, now we have Glenelanger online. This feels pretty good. So we know they have Island, Island, Swamp, Necro, Death. They played Island, so we know they have Island, Swamp, Necro, Death. Living Death. Okay. No. I'm just gonna have six. Oh, okay, we just won the game. They were like, what they just they're like, I hope he has a stroke and doesn't do it. Well, we did. We did. Alright. Well, we did it. Let's play first. Crack that whip. Let's play this in case we have to get a volcanic island. We did take down a Bond villain. Okay, we don't have to get it. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's not that interesting. This guy. A devoted druid. That's my guess. Manamorphos. For two green. Devoted druid. That's my guess. Nothing. Oh wow, we're just so good at this game, it's not even, doesn't even seem realistic. My name is Zorples. Buzzorples. Buzzorples. Wow. Oh boy. I don't even know if I take any of these things. I'm good. You can have all that nonsense. Forest, 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 forest. 
plow harm. Wow, that's insane. Oh, and we get to play Narset, so their Harmonize is actually a blank? Get the hell out of here. Get out of town. How much damage is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10? We can just do it later, I guess. I guess we can see what we get with Narset, too. Oh, we'll just get a time warp, so that's that's nice. Oh man, I please I hope they I hope they harmonize and forget about Narset. Oh, they're not gonna do it? Okay. Huh. Wow, whiff? That's rude. Man. So they played Forest. And I assume they're going to play another Forest here. Okay, so their hand is Forest, 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 Plow, Harm. So they're going to Plow, which is fine. So no more Plow. So they have three Forests and a Harm in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. <clears throat> Bazorbles. Hmm. Looking like mono green. Lava Mancer could be good. Again, I keep bringing in Lava Mancer. Maybe he just belongs in the main deck. Maybe you just belong here, my dude. My little bazorples. <laughs> Side inkle. 9% chance of having living death in the deck. <laughs> I mean... 3 out of 3. It's not out of the question. Oh, yeah, I'll keep this. We can cast everything. Lightning Bolt. <laughs> I was literally thinking in my head when I said Lightning Bolt, I'm like, man, I feel like my powers are waning. I haven't been able to predict cards that frequently anymore. And then we drew exactly the card we wanted for this asshole. <laughs> yeah, that guy's gotta go. Yeah, I don't care about your I don't care about your stupid wall. Um Yeah, I think we're just gonna click here. Alright, let's see what you got. Show me what you got! Oh. Primeval Titan. Mind Slaver. Questing Beast. Good lord. All of these are pretty obnoxious. They can't Primeval Titan until next turn. Jeez. I don't know how to deal with either of these currently.
Like, they're going to play a land this turn, so they're going to have five mana, which means they can either Primeval Titan next turn or Questing Beast this turn. I have literally nothing that blocks Questing Beast other than Vindalian Click. They cannot Primeval Titan this turn. That is false. Yeah, it's three fourths. God, it's so frustrating. I don't care about Mind Slaver, I'm actually just going to steal their Mind Slaver. Which also doesn't do much against this. God, Questing Beast. We have five turns against a questing beast and all of our creatures are like two power, two power, two power, two power, three power, but that's about it. Whereas this guy can chump block. I think we just have to take the Titan. So was their their hand was like forest, forest, mind slaver now. Well, Forest Mind Slaver. Well, they can't slave this turn. It's only five mana. Wow. Wow. Talk about being good at this game. Jeez. Talk about being good at Magic the Gathering. Jeez, I'm just attacking here. You can block, or you could. Oko could take two. That's fine. Oh my god, are they gonna play Mind Slaver and then we're just gonna steal it? Oh god, it's all happening, guys. Jesus, we have we've done it. Well, I think it's a plow under deranged terminals. Okay, so we get to steal their turn. Yeah, deck is definitely worth more to me alive than one Vendillion click. Oh, does that do anything? Not really. Wishing they had Primeval Titan, I guess. What do I have? One, two, three, four, five. So we can actually go steal their turn and ponder this turn. Grim Lava Mancer could be great here. Dire Fleet Daredevil doesn't seem that good. Sower seems fantastic. Hmm. I think it might just be Rabble Master. No, actually, Rabble Master is great against this board. We'll go to a Season Pyromancer. Because we can still use this guy from the graveyard. This is just all card draw. I kind of just want the other two. Like, that seems fine. Like, we'll go Mox Diamond. Preordained chart, of course. No shuffle. Mind slaver, you. Uh, create a food token. No, we'll make this guy 3 3. Pass and take your turn. Oh. Uh, triggered ability. I don't think I'm going to pay for this. No, nah, I'm good. Oh, Manamorphose. Let's see what we get here. Green and a red. 
Pelucranos. Let's let's play Pelucranos and take Pelucranos. You can't shoot your own guys with Pelucranos? That's sad. Attack me. And block. No, you can only use the wall ability once a turn. Uh, the MTG bot was correct. Why do you want me to play a deck? Do you want me to play a cool deck? A cool deck fading? See what it is there? It's preordained. I want to put you on the bottom. I'll put you on top. Uh, target artifact, contains all abilities. Sort. How does this work? Can I make this a 3 3? Um, yeah, I'm just going to draw two. I mean, if they want to trade here, that's totally fine, right? I think it's still Grim Lava Man, so I can get rid of Ravel Master and I'll get rid of like Burst Lightning here, I think. I feel like we're doing good here. Six, seven, eight. Yeah, I wish I didn't keep. I wish I kept the red up last turn because instead of preordaining, I think we should have just gotten Grim Lava Mancer on the board to start shooting the creatures. All right, search for a creature. Incoming Crater Hoof. I think this is actually fine. We can bounce one of these, we can shoot one on the next turn, and we can actually Oko the wall. Primeval Titan. That's a good one. I mean, our board is still fantastic, so... We could also brazen borrow our own sower to get the uh, primeval titan instead. Playing Oko. Uh, let's actually let's try to course first. <laughs> that's that's pretty nuts. Let's get a volcanic. Yep, this is why we try to course first, my dudes.
didn't use Dak because I would just want to keep all the cards in hand. So, I mean, I know that's not ideal, but I don't think it matters at this point. Um, play Oko, make this a thing. They're at seven. If we bounce one, they block two, they take five. They can also just go to one. And we're just going to play Oko anyway, though. Let's not not mess around. I just don't think we care about Primeval Titan here. Boingo, Oingo. Thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate it. I love you, too. <laughs> sure. I don't think Primeval Titan does anything, but I do think Grimmelava Mancer is good enough to put out here. Even if we can't commit a Brazen Bar, because this is still 2-2, two and two, so... Whatever, we'll draw two. Easy pitches. Hmm. What's it gonna be? I think this is a scoop. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check them out every week, every Wednesday at CoolStuffInc.com. You can find a new article from me. You can also check out ManaTraders.com. You get 20% off the first three months of any subscription, which are pretty sweet with the link and promo code down below. So be sure to use those. Be sure to click that link and promo code in the description of the YouTube video. It's also my Twitch profile. And uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. really appreciate it.